Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today I will show you you don't need a huge setup. You can you can make your own loose with just a blank and some nail polish and some glitter. And at the end of the video I will go fishing with your creation to show you guys you don't need a huge setup to catch a fish with your own make lures. You can keep it very simple and still it can be very effective and fun. So you don't need an airbrush at all. And I will show you that today. So we're gonna start off with putting a silver base on our lure. So I took this silver nail polish from my girlfriend. And yeah, she's not getting it back. Really like. The silver sparkly stuff. We're gonna make sure the layer is really thick so you don't get too many brush strokes. You want it you want it to level out. So don't be shy to use a lot. everywhere so the tail and everything now I also gonna add some extra silver glitter you can get anywhere in your local hobby store or this litter specifically comes from lure blanks so it's really fine glitter and I like really fine stuff you can add a lot of detail on it later the spot there we go so I'm not going to do the head because that will be in another color later on I only want the silver body Add some silver glitter again before it all dries up. I noticed that this stuff dries pretty quickly so I try to level it out and put glitter on it before it dries there is the base for a body. Now I want to get a little bit more silver on the head. So it's close to the gill plate. About there, that looks good. It's a little uneven here. There we go. So 
So now we're gonna do the head. Shake well before use. I've chosen this nail polish in a kind of fluorescent lime. It's gonna stick out really well with the silver. I am avoiding the eye a little bit. It's not really necessary because we're gonna coat it anyway. So the eye will be filled with coating afterwards. trying to not ruin up the silver and I still want a, a decently a decent thick coat on there so I'm gonna let this set. So now the first coat is dry and I still see uh, some brush strokes and darker spots. I wanna just even that out a little bit. So right now I am using very thin coats and just even, evening this out as much as I can. I'm gonna let this dry. Second coat. So now the head is dried. The second coat of lime green is on there. It's looking really, really beautiful. Now I want the back and the top of the body. I want to be blue. So I got this uh, transparent uh, nail polish with a little bit of mica powder in it. Gonna shake really well. There we go. The reason we let the head dry first is so when we put any glitter on there, the glitter won't stuck to the head. We want to have that clean bright as possible. So actually what this blue nail polish does gonna give a blue shine to our silver here and that combined with a little bit of blue glitter this is the fine glitter from Lure Blanks
So we're carefully gonna add some black to give her eyes a little bit more depth. really difficult with a brush like this. Just like carefully brushing just the edges of the eyes. I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna glue in the eyes so now everything is dry it's looking quite good now there's only one thing left and that's putting the eyes in gonna use a little bit of super glue these eyes I always make the the pointy the pointy pupil paint uh, paint sorry I always make the pointy pupil point forward wow that's a tongue twister Push it in. Nice and clean. Now the other side. There we go, push them in. So, now it's time for some epoxy, and then the lure is finished. So, I'm also going to show you how I put my epoxy on. This is especially helpful for those who have um, no wheel, turning wheel, drying wheel, whatever you want to call it, because I, I hang my lures. I think it's just easier and it takes less space so the epoxy i use is vhc crystal clear epoxy pike edition it's an epoxy from rofisk jägerna or you can say rofisk jägerna if you would say it in english uh, these guys uh, sell epoxy in sweden i like to keep uh, much stuff local so it will help the community and everything. I think it's better to help each other out. So I buy this, but not only to help guys out, I also think it's a really good epoxy. It dries really well, it becomes really tough and it can 
handle a lot of pike teeth. Um, it's also a little bit thinner, a little bit more runny when you mix it in the beginning, which makes it easier to put on the first coat because if it's too thick, you will get a lot of fish eyes and everything. It doesn't run down smoothly. And if you want to hang dry lures, then I would really recommend this epoxy. It's really good. So first, I'm going to put on my scale. That's quite important. I'm going to see. Look at it. Zero. There we go. Now I will need six grams there we go six grams no it's not the best scale sometimes he he doubts a little is it five is it six and then we need three grams hardener Half is hardener. So why I take six grams is because I have to do a few lures. And you you might ask how much you need for one lure? Well, it depends on how big your lure is. I can't really tell. I need to do all of these, so... That's why I need a little bit more. So I mix it really well. Some people stir it really, really, really slowly. So they don't get any air bubbles in there. But that's the good thing about this epoxy. Its setting time is quite late, it's after more than a half an hour before it gets a little thicker. So the bubbles get plenty of time to all rise up to the surface and then I just take a burner and pop the bubbles and then I put the epoxy on with a little brush. So actually I don't mind stirring all the bubbles right now, just want to have this mixed thoroughly, that's the most important. So the epoxy will set well at the end. Now I'll let this sit for half an hour. Then I will pop the bubbles and then we will start brushing on the epoxy. So now our epoxy has been standing here for about half an hour. As you can see, there might be some bubbles in there. Most of them are already gone. So I use a little burner get rid of the last bubbles and then I just start coating my lures uh, like this one face up Two coats and then I hang them down. Two coats. Now I have coated all my lures, and of course, when you put a coat on with a pencil, you can create some bubbles. So I am going to remove all these with a burner. I just so our little fellow is ready now so there's only one thing to do uh, I think this video would not be complete without going outside and fish this to catch a fish and show that it really works so let's go out so guys, we're on the water today, um, we're gonna fish this lure, well, hopefully we'll catch some fish with it, so we'll see, stay tuned! Whoa. Whoa, that 
that was a take right on the landing. It's like he he saw it from the sky. I didn't expect that. I got one. It's not a big one, but it's a good start. He couldn't resist the lure. Soon. There we go. Nice. First bike of today. On our any can make this, anyone can make this lure lure. I have to be careful. There we go. I'm fishing wheat, no, no wheatless, um, barbless. I'm fishing barbless, so it's easy anyway to unhook the fish. It's a feisty little one. There we go. Beautiful little one. 50 centimeters or something. And back he goes. Bye bye. Let's get another one. Second one of the day. That was a hard take. Quite strong. Not that big, but he's quite strong. He ain't done yet. Oh, no, he came off. Damn. Well, that's fishing. So there we go. I missed another take. Then I take a few. I took a few casts at the same spot. And I got this trophy pipe. Let's see if I can grab it. There we go. Beautiful little fella. There we go. So as you can see, the lure works for any size of pike. Lost the nice one, got the little, the, the smallest one of the year, I think. Awesome. Oh, we lost it. No. Damn it. Lost another one. This lure is on fire. That's a big perch. That's a big perch. Nice. This lure, this lure catches anything. It's insane.
look at this fish. Nice. That's a 35 centimeter perch. It's like uh, 700 grams. Nice fish. Damn. Awesome. Let's put it down. So yeah, as you can see guys, you don't need a fancy airbrush setup and anything. You can paint a lure with nail polish and you can catch decent fish with it. it it's really fun and there's, there's nothing, there's, there's no feeling like when you catch a fish with your own painted lure. It just makes it so much more, you know. It's really awesome. I would really, I would, I can only say try it out for yourself. It, it's really cool and really fun. Oh, another fish on. Man, this one really swallows the bait. He really was hungry. Damn. Just in time. There we are guys. Another hungry pike. Oh yeah, I got a better one. That's a really nice fish. There he went. I wanted to measure that one, but that's fishing. That was a really nice bike. All cut on our self made lure with only nail polish and a little bit of glitter. Something anybody can do at home. And as you can see, it really works really well. You know, there is just it's the best feeling in the world to catch a fish with the lure you made yourself, really. So you can find the blanks on lureblanks.eu as well as the glitter that I used. The epoxy uh, is called VHC Crystal Clear Pike Edition. It's a great epoxy, go check that out as well. I'll leave a link in the, in the description for all the things that I used. And I would say take care and see you next time, bye bye!